This is not notorious whey protein. This is. <laughs> This is Notorious Ray out of Brooklyn, New York, and you're watching Behind the Cup. I'd say my biggest challenge has been consistency. Being able to go out there and, you know, produce the same art day in and day out, regardless of circumstance, regardless of milk, regardless of espresso, regardless of machine. You know, my biggest challenge as a coffee professional has been I'm trying to get an accumulation of our habits of work ethic and just being able to implement that every single time I go out there for a competition and ultimately it's taken me a lot of practice it's been a lot of failure but you know you can't succeed without failure you can't gain experience without trying so you know hopefully this correlates into more success into you know bigger and brighter days not only for me but for my support system for everybody else. The more I become a well-crafted and honed coffee professional, I know that the rest will follow. I know people will follow suit. I know it will motivate people to see me succeed. And just as much as other people's success motivates me. Coffee is like a sport. You're going to have rough moments. There's going to be days that you don't win. There's going to be days that you don't succeed. I wish that one piece of advice that I had known would just to be to take it easier, to embrace the moments, to embrace the lows just as much as the highs. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, your defeats is not what counts. What matters is your victories, the, the connections. Just to be a little bit kinder to myself, to motivate myself a little bit more, to work a little harder, to you know, just keep pushing even if it seems like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. Ice black eyes, man. Ice black eyes get me through the day. A little black cold brew, two shots of espresso. So it's quite interesting because in my espresso bar and Verizon, we don't serve cold brew. So this is where, you know, you have to implement different kind of drinks. So what I do at Verizon on a Monday through Friday basis is four shots of espresso over ice and weekends at Chateau Le Wolf, them ice black eyes. They're to die for. Everyone. Everyone in this coffee community helps me grow. Whenever I see somebody post a random picture of their latte art, uh, whether it's on Instagram stories or, you know, whether it's the elite people posting pictures on Facebook or YouTube, it's, it's all motivation. It's something that you have to take in, not compare yourself to it, you know, just strive to be that great within yourself. Everybody else in this community helps me grow and I hope that one day I'm in a position to help everybody else grow or to be a tutor or a guideline for the rest of the community. Kind of like a freestyle. freestyle Friday? No, no, no. You know, we're living in a day and age where there's so much division within this world. I would like to thank Javi, I would like to thank Joe, I would like to thank the man behind the camera, Paul, for creating an environment in which we're all able to come together as one. That's something that this world fails to realize is that we are all one, you know, and the more that groups and communities like this are being built, the closer that we are to achieving peace. So in a way, ESOM is not espresso state of mind, but it's peace of mind. Boom. You know the vibes. I want my chips with the dip. <laughs> I want my chips with the dip. <laughs> I want my chips with the dip. <laughs>